Good morning. This book is called The Bernstein Bears Easter Parade, and it is written by Mike, Mike Bernstein. Here is the title page. It was the first day of spring in bear country. The last patches of winter snow were melting in the warm sun. The first spring flowers were poking up their brightly colored heads. Robins sang in the green budding trees. And at the bear family's treehouse home, the kitchen window was wide open. Papa Bear sniffed the fresh air as he read his newspaper at the breakfast table. Look at this, he said, holding up the front page. Mayor Honeypot says that bear country will have an old fashioned Easter parade this year. There will be prizes for the best dressed family. All are invited to attend in their brightest spring finery. That sounds like fun, said Mama. It would be nice to have a reason to dress up in something special for a change. You said it, said Sister. I can wear a big Easter bonnet with all kinds of fancy frills, bows, and feathers. But Brother Bear wasn't so sure. He was happy wearing his plain red shirt and blue pants every day. What's the matter with our regular clothes, he said. Why do we have to get dressed up? Oh, don't be a stick in the mud, said Sister. It's fun to do something different once in a while. I don't think so, he said. I like things to be the same every day. But we wear the same kind of clothes every day, said Sister. Don't you get tired of that? Nope, said Brother. That way, that way I always look like me. Sister sighed and rolled her eyes. I would like to get out my fancy old dud, said Papa. Remember the clothes I wore when we got married, my dear? I do indeed, said Mama. You looked very handsome. I bet they're still up in the attic, said Papa. Let's go take a look. Papa led the way. Even Brother Bear, I'm sorry, even Brother wanted to see what Papa looked like in his fancy old duds. The attic was full of all kinds of things the Bear family was saving. Papa opened a big, dusty trunk. Here it is, said Papa, pulling out his old suit jacket and putting it on. It was a little moth-eaten and, and much too tight. But when Papa tried to close it, a button popped off and shot across the room. Whoa there, buddy, said Mama. You're going to put someone's eye out. Sister poked around in the trunk and found a fancy hat. She put it on and looked at herself in a cracked mirror. That belongs to Grizzly Gran when she was young, said Mama. It's beautiful, said Sister, but it is sort of falling apart. Bits of ribbon and feathers were coming off. These fancy clothes are very nice, said Mama but I don't think we can wear them in the Easter parade. They're just too old. We'll have to go out and buy brand new outfits. Oh no, brother groaned. Clothes shopping, boring. Speak for yourself, said sister heading downstairs. So in spite of brother's moans and groans, they all got into the family car and headed to the Bear Country Mall to buy new things for the Easter Parade. The mall was full of bears busily shopping for spring clothes. Mama led them into a big department store. May I help you, madam, said a clerk. You certainly may, said Mama. My whole family needs new clothes for the Easter Parade. The clerk called for help and soon Mama, Papa, sister, and even brother were trying on new clothes. They all looked splendid in their new Easter outfits, but brother didn't think so. I look silly, he muttered, looking in the mirror. I think you look very handsome, said sister. Ugh, said brother.
As they drove home with their car full of boxes and bags, Brother was still grumpy and frowning. Come now, Brother, said Papa. I'm sure you'll feel different on Easter Sunday when everyone in Bear Country will be dressed in their finest for the big parade. Humph, Brother said. Papa sighed and rolled his eyes. Easter Sunday soon arrived, and after, and after church and a little Easter candy, the Bear family got ready for the parade. Brother was very unhappy about having to wear a tie. I can't tie this thing, he growled. I'll show you how, said Papa. Around and around and up and through. Soon they were ready. My, said Mama, looking them over proudly. What a beautiful family I have. My tie is too tight, complained brother. Mama sighed and rolled her eyes. When they drove into Bear Town for the start of the parade, it was quite a sight. Hundreds of bears all in their Easter best lined Main Street. Mayor and Mrs. Honeypot were up on a reviewing stand to pick out the best outfits. A brass band came marching by. Officer Marguerite d directed traffic. Chief Bruno was dressed as the Easter Bunny and handed out baskets of candy. Oh, doesn't that sound like a lot of fun, guys? The mayor gave the signal for the starting line ribbon to be cut. Everyone streamed past the reviewing stand. The band played an old tune called Easter Parade. When the Bear family marched proudly past, Brother overheard Mrs. Honeypot. Don't they all look darling, she said? Especially that cute little Brother Bear. Brother blushed right through his fur, but then he caught sight of himself in the store window. I guess I do look pretty good, he said to himself. After they had all filed past, the mayor called the Bear family up to the reviewing stand. He held out a big shiny trophy. And the prize for best dressed family, said the mayor, goes to the Bear family. The whole crowd cheered and clapped. Brother stepped right up to take the prize. He was very pleased with himself. Thank you, thank you everyone, he said, taking a bow. The rest of the family just sighed and rolled their eyes. Oh my goodness, did Brother Bear change his mind about dressing up fancy? Do you guys like to get dressed up fancy for the holidays? Um, if you do, do you wanna send me a picture? I don't know if I'm going to be dressing up or not. We'll have to see.